965-966. Reed Detmers and the Angels at plus 170. Framber Valdez and the Astros as two to one favorites here. Total of eight and a half with some juice to the over at minus 115. All right, B Dub, this is my double result today. I took the Astros minus 110. I love how this lineup profiles against Reed Detmers. When you look at the weighted OPS numbers here, 859 for the Astros. Um, against Detmers, when you compare it to the other side, Framber Valdez, a 646, the second lowest on the card. I have it as one of the bigger pitching advantages on the card. We obviously know about the lineup advantage for the Astros. So I'm going to take the double result here at minus 110. What is it? Am I crazy here? We should be back in the Angels, or what do you think? Astros, Angels, beat up. No, you know, that's the play to make on this game. If you're going to play it, I've got it priced at minus 239 for the Astros. What's concerning about this game is, is Valdez, his strikeout, percentage is, is lower. It's 19.6%. Having said that, his stuff plus is really good this year in the 90th percentile. And uh, what really stands out to me with this Houston Astros team is, is how good they are offensively. And in fact, they're the best team by my ratings versus left-handed pitching, which is in fact what they're going to get today. So for all those reasons, I, I think that, that you're making a good play. One of the things also that's interesting uh, when I was doing some prep for this game was that Kyle Tucker leads the American League in weighted runs created plus. And uh, you can see him in the markets, markets plural, various sports books at 12 to one up to 12 to one for al mvp i thought that that was an interesting price kyle um let me correct you i had to refresh my page something was bugging out i actually had the twins priced at minus 179 that makes more sense I, now now it's making more sense and for some reason I had the old numbers from yesterday when they were playing cleveland and that everything got all uh jumbled up there but now that i'm looking at it minus 179 just to make the correction there kenny what do you think here am i doing this right astros double result backing valdez Faden, detmers yeah, look, I, I'm a, I'm a Detmers guy. I, I still think Detmers has a, has a high ceiling and has some upside, but uh, he just certainly hasn't had that as of late. Um, in his last, I think four or five starts, man, he's just been objectively terrible. Uh, five runs, six runs, seven runs, five runs, four runs, all in his last five starts. And I even went back and looked, and his last like three starts against the Astros, he's gotten absolutely rocked. I think he made it two innings against them, seven runs in his last start. Uh, towards the end of last year. So, look, the Astros are starting to heat up. They were probably the most disappointing team in the league to, to start the season. They're starting to find their stride just a little bit here. Um, and and Detmers just cannot cannot find anything right now. So, this is definitely uh, Astros or nothing. Um, I think my only fear in this game was, like, this is this. if there's one game, I think, on the entire slate that you wake up tomorrow and go, like, what, what the hell just happened? It would be this game because Detmers goes out there and throws, like, 12 strikeouts. I don't see right. it. I don't see it happening. I can, I, I can confidently back the Astros. I agree with you. But, uh, yeah, man, I think it's a good spot. Detmers has been just abysmal, and uh, Astros are heating up. Yeah, I mean, don't look now. Astros 8-2 and two in their last 10, only four games back now in the division. And uh, the A's starting to turn into the A's we expected with eight straight losses and heading to the cellar there. So some of those things are starting to regress back towards the mean a little bit here um, as we go on with the season. The Astros – Trending upwards, the Angels, bottom of that division, trending downwards. Uh, here, for purposes of the show, I'm going to take the two to one favorite Astros, and I'm going to take the double result today. And that is sitting at minus 110. All right. 